are you doing? Oh, God, I forgot the game, guys. How are you doing? Morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hey, Sunday, the, uh, the last day of the week. I mean, depending on if your calendar's broken or not, you know, uh, please politely click the like button. Welcome to day 1022. Oh, Lee, don't really get up there in days, boy. What did we do yesterday? Previously uh, on the Dingus Baiting Show. There's a lot of hate in this stream, but it's usually just directed towards me. You can feel the energy pulsing through our balls right now, right? Okay, yeah. okay. Waiting for that D. Oh my goodness, take your time. It's coming, boys. It's fucking coming. Oh shit, that hurt my throat. So you need to keep coming. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's my pee. pee. There's something very satisfying about doing that, by the way. I just gave the cheese a little penis. Got beans all over me. It's, it's slightly fucked. Oh my god. You got a big old bop. You ever scrum diddly your ass? I'll tell you something about scrum diddly, baby. Shoot water in your ass for gut health. <laughs> you losers! There it is, boy. Another bang over here from boy Singular. It's what he does. Pet that shit, shit. Oh, yeah, do do Oh, yeah, do 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 I chant. So we finished the lettuce, like, for now. I think we're going to come back later and make a couple areas of the lettuce, like, big and leafy. Right now, we just got like a little foliage going around the end. So we got to have a discussion chat. It's very serious. I got wings and rockets. Let's go. One large tomato. Basically, one large tomato with the like facade of it just being like this giant red tomato around the outside edges. Or like three tomatoes. Or maybe four tomatoes? Where we do like sursal tomato, sursal tomato, and then sursal, sursal on the backside. And then that'll give us, that'll lift up the bun, give a bunch of space where we can shove other stuff, make lettuce go up between, fill it in with ketchup, mustard, uh, mayonnaise, bro. Mayonnaise, bro. You know what I mean? And then maybe you even throw a little bit more lettuce on top of that. But it looks like everybody's saying like three or four pickles. I agree, chat. I agree. So we'll do the first mock-up of a sursal with Dierte. That's French dirt, if you're new. And then, uh, yeah, we don't got to build the whole circle, but like 75% of it, I think. Tomatoes on my burger never stay in the middle. No, that's part of the reason. Like, you got to be really careful with your tomato selection on a burger. Honestly. Right? You don't... Okay. You do eat with your eyes first. However, when it comes time to actually eat with your mouth, there's nothing worse than when you got this burger. It just looks amazing. Like, wow, dude, this looks great. And then you bite it, and, like, one of the beef patties goes out the back across the room. The tomato's hanging off. A big glob of mayonnaise comes out, and now you got to, like, put your burger back together after one bite, and you're wiping its ass. Terrible burger at that point. Part of the glory of the burger is the eatability. The portability, the eatability, right? So this is very important to keep in mind when building and constructing your Memorial Day burger today, boys. All right, give me the dirt, dude. Okay, well, I guess the next question, chat is how big is it if your cheeseburger... All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, does anybody remember how big this is? What's 97 times 2? I think that's what it was, chat. 97 times 2. We'll see. Two nines would be an 18. 184. Am I right? Holy shit. I am... So, bro, like, calculator? For what reason? Why would you even need one? Why would you even need one? I nailed it. Look at Jordan is stunned. Can't believe it. The math skill. Hey, I took a lot of math in college. You know what I mean? Just one, though, because I'm from America. Just one math. We don't do maths. There's no point, UK bros. So, okay. So, chat. If your burger is 194 blocks... How big is your tomato? Golly, dude, your tomato's like at least like 64 blocks or something. Especially if you're doing two. Well, I mean, we, we could also vary, right? Let's just say fuck it and build one of them 75. And then if it looks too big or too small, we just modify the next tomato, right? It's like, you know, tomato's got very... A tomato's not a cylinder, bro. You know what I mean? Tomato one is going to be starting like right here. Fuck, dude. The Enderman pick up dirt. I can't do dirt. Damn, Endermans. 
Hot day, Amanda Mans, and I left my bro my blocks at the other place. What an idiot, Dawn. How do I even stay breathing in life? How do I? Oh, I got some, motherfucker. Oh, we're good, boys. We're good. Fear not. Oh, no. I didn't get him. Fucking portals, chat. Oh, my God. I need to get up over the portals, chat. How am I going to do that? Oh, my God, chat. Please. I need we got to build an onion. I got to add an onion layer. That's it. I got to add an onion, chat. What am I even going to use for this? This is a terrible disaster, chat. Chat, what block is an onion? What block is an onion? Quartz. Quartz is good. That's a different... Yeah, quartz might be good. I mean, that... Dude, bro, that literally looks like an onion. That looks onion. I just discovered where they got the texture for quartz. It's an onion. It's literally an onion. All right. All right. Let's go top those boxes off. Smoothify them. And then build some sort of onion facade to hide our portals. Oh, God, chat. We just got horrible news, dude. One to one, bro. Amazing, isn't it? What's that mean, in it? I heard somebody say that saying in it is like giving yourself a verbal pat on the back. Is that true, my UK bros? In it equals isn't it. Right, so you use it as like a pat on the back of your sentence. Or like a, you agree, right? It's like saying you agree, right? Like, man, it's a beautiful day out here, isn't it? In it. And you go, yeah, in it. How do you respond? somebody get hit you with it in it so i had this friend's dad that would always every time he see me he'd say what do you say bams i go I, 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 I don't know what do you say to that what is the response to what do you say uh, hi and then they're just looking at you like you're supposed to say something like, i don't know what the fuck does that mean dude what do you say bams uh i'm not stoned we didn't do any drugs you respond with please educate yourself <laughs> that you can't say that if you're at like watching the soccer game yeah you know i mean oh my god it's gonna take a week bro i can't believe they made it so expansive man imagine being so expansive dude all this for an onion man all this for a fucking onion man sunday 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 drop kick drag strip i already did that bit that's not a bit it's just a tick We'll call it a tick instead. Jaeger has a shit ton of sugar. Then you drink it with a shit ton of sugar Red Bull. Yeah, I mean, you can do a boiler maker, right? That's a Jaeger and a beer, right? That's what a boiler maker is. That's a Jaeger and a beer. Am I right or am I wrong here, chat? I'm not much for the bar beverages, but occasionally I watch a tipsy bartender video. Fireball, nasty. Fireball, I get a headache if I drink that. Is Fireball the one that's got hardened candy on the bottom? Aftershock. Oh, good lord, dude. Aftershock. Gold flake. Gold schlager, bro. We were, that was like in my group of friends when we were like 16. We used to think gold schlager was the coolest shit. Like, that's what we, bro, get a bottle of gold schlager. And we used to go to the, what is it called, chat? The illegal, what are those things called? So dangerous. Sometimes I remember shit we used to do and go, good lord. So uh, what uh, uh, speakeasy? Is that what it's called, chat? What is it called where you go into the ghetto and you knock on the back door of somebody's house? You know, like, give me a bottle of Goldschlager and, and, you know, bootlegger. Yeah, we used to go to the bootlegger. And uh, good golly, the only reason I ever went to those, because I don't think I realized what I was really doing. <laughs> I don't think I realized exactly what I was doing. I was just, I had my eyes on the prize. You're telling me there's somewhere really dangerous we could go where they'll sell me liquor? All right, let's go. All I'm hearing in my head is let's go get liquor. And that, that, that's like another time. I picked up two friends. There was four of us in the car. Um, and they're like, hey, man, stop over here so I can get like a dime bag or whatever. We'll go to the park and roll up a blunt. So I go over there. I pull over. Not realizing, really. I'm thinking in my head, oh, we're stopping by a buddy's house to pick up a bag. We were not stopping at a buddy's house. We were at the spot. And as I realize I'm pulled over at the spot, I on a side street, I see a cop car pull onto the street behind me. 
So I immediately try to play it off like I'm just pulling out. So I pull out. I go. They follow me. They pull me over saying I didn't use my blinker. I definitely used my blinker. What really happened is they ran my plates and saw that I was in the ghetto and that I live in the suburbs. Uh, and so they knew this guy's down here doing shit. So they pulled me over on some bullshit about not using a blinker. I knew they were behind me. I was terrified at the light. I definitely used my blinker. But anyway, um, they separate us all in the car. What are you doing? Meanwhile, my buddy was still at the spot, right? I pulled off. I left my boy at the spot and now we're pulled over getting busted, but we don't have anything. So they separate us, get our stories, which are all different because we're all lying. And they search us, and there's a crowd gathering in chat. They pull my bare ass out. I swear to God, dude. I'm standing like this sideways. They're searching me, and he just pulls my ass out, dude. And across the street, there's like a gang of like 20 young kids just hanging around watching this all take place. I'm like, man, what the fuck? It's like humiliating. And they put me in the back of the car, and they're giving me the spiel about how I'm so fucked and this, that, and the other thing. We know what you're doing here. Where's your other buddy? Beep, 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 beep. And as I'm sitting in the back of the car begging for mercy, they get a call on the radio of like an active robbery. And they get us out of the car. No ticket, no nothing. Let us go. And then we had to circle back around. Meanwhile, our friend that we abandoned had just joined the gathering of like 20 people on the side of the street. And then there you go. That's it. That's the time I went to the ghetto and got busted trying to buy weed. Boom. Let's go buy blocks. I think that's going to be good enough for an onion once more lettuce gets up in front of it and some of the other condiments and stuff. Oh my god, that's a tomato, bro. That's a tomato chat. Fucking perfect. The onion lettuce layer is going to take some finessing. <laughs> the other layers are going to take some finessing, dude. All right, so clearly, chat, we got a lot of work to do. As you know, we still got to modify the... Here, 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 let's clip this so that people coming in in the next few days telling me what I need can just eat shit. Well, not really eat shit. I don't want you to eat shit. That's for Shooter McGavin. Anyway, what we have to do the outside here... Idiot! That relish layer looks perfect. Ban him. So uh, the cheese, starting from the bottom up, the cheese in here, we're going to get little droops, right? We're going to add some more to the cheese, okay? This is in the plan from the beginning. I just got the main key markers of shit so I can construct, right? I can't spend a week designing lettuce to find out that I can't build a fucking tomato. Idiot. You know what I mean? Let us so we're going to, we have to tweak the cheese on the outside still. Tweak the cheese on the outside. We have to get the leafy, the big leafy bits of lettuce, okay? Those are going to come too. Like, we have this big empty area. I'll probably try to make some fluffy lettuce come out like that. Maybe some fluffy lettuce coming out like that. And then a couple pieces that go up, right? Lettuce. The onion? Yeah, you're just going to have to be low-key on that. All right? If somebody says, what's that other shit? You'd be like, oh, that's an onion. You just say that, right? And then we got to do the tomato. Tomato's going to be tricky as fuck. Because I need tomatoes on each other like this. How am I going to do that? No idea, bro. No idea, bro. Going to have to figure that out. Uh, and then we got to fill in the gaps. Like you can see, if I put another tomato here and it's on top of this one, that means there's going to be a gap in here. That's where we come with the mayo, mustard, ketchup to fill in those spots. Some of that's going to have to get a drip down the side. You know what I mean? There's a lot of work left to do, boys. But at the same time, we've made incredible progress on the burger. You're starting to see that it's a burger instead of, what's he doing? Oh, he's making super high resolution beef, bro. Trust me, it's going to be a big deal, right? Like, you gotta, we got to get a visual representation of the chatters, too. People coming in like, oh, I see he's making a burger. But then you, you, you put yourself in the trap of the chatter thinking that the lettuce is done and that I'm happy with the lettuce. Here we go with the fucking lettuce again. I'm so triggered. What? Subscribe for more.